In a given class, there are third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade students. And they're all together. If a student is selected randomly, the probability that they are in third grade is one third, and the probability that they are in fifth grade is three eighths. What could be a possible value for the number of students in the fourth grade? So here we have multiple different scenarios going on, and it's more like our problem with the red and blue crayon. So I have a total number of students, which I'm not given, so total number of students. And then I have some probability of picking either a third grader, a fourth grader, or a fifth grader. And I'm given the probabilities for third and fifth grade, which are one third and then three eighths. So third and fifth. So if I add these two, I could find the probability that I'm picking either a third or a fifth grader. And then I could maybe subtract that probability to figure out what fourth grader what probability I have of picking a fourth grader. So if I add these two, I just find a common denominator and I end up with 17 over 24 is my likelihood of either picking third or fifth grade. So given that this is my probability, this is really third and fifth graders. So that's how I could satisfy that I'm picking one of these two over the total number of students. So here, what I'm gonna wanna do is a little bit different, just because I don't necessarily have a value for total number of students, so I might just wanna call it this value, 24, and this would, a possible value, this could be a multiple choice test, question or it could be one of your fill in the blanks question and either one it would be fine. So if I have my total number of students is 24 and 17 of them are in third and fifth grade, then I can figure out the number of fourth grade students because third, fourth, and fifth grade make up the whole class or the 24. So if I take 17 away from 24, I get seven, and that's how many fourth graders I would have in a class of 24. So that's more knowing how to manipulate this equation, um, but playing around with these things are definitely good, and there are really different ways that probability can be tested, but none of them should be beyond the realm of comprehension because we just have this basic one equation for probability. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you again for watching educator.com's SAT math review.